A short warning before we begin, this video may contain adult language. You have been warned. Hi, R.D. Barry here. Welcome to day 79. Um, probably the last day of my Let's Play of Firewatch. Uh, and I'm saying it's the last day because it looks like um, Henry is going to have to leave because there is a massive uh, forest fire going on and he seems to be right um, in the path and um, he needs to get out before the whole place uh, gets goes up in smoke. Um... One thing I was thinking about, though, was that uh, I think Brian Goodman, uh, the kid who was um, at Two Forks earlier, I think he had a crush on someone. Um, and the reason I'm saying that I've, is because he um, made this character sheet for the game's versions of Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons called uh, Wizards and Wyverns. Um, and given that, uh, Brian seems to have a habit of basing things off real life and just sort of transposing them into the, uh, fantasy setting, uh, I, it, it looks like this Gladius Sylvia, or Gladius Silva might be, um, based on a real person. Um, I will let you <laughs> put your own, make your own guesses as to who that might be. I have my own ideas. Uh, anyway, so, um, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, here we go. So there's one more thing to do, though, before we head out, and that is to chase down one more radio signal. Um, it's a little suspicious that uh, we're getting a new one after we've already chased down two, and apparently um, uh, they, they were all uh, found, so it's suspicious that there was a new one. So I'm expecting some sort of dangerous uh, encounter uh, or possibly a trap of some kind. But, uh, apparently that's what the game is requiring us to do. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, what does that say? You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Yeah. Is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? Yeah, I think we saw this yesterday. I just uh, decided to reload after I, what happened to Brian? Uh, I started to again. Say. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. Um, <laughs> I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm probably going to move to Canada. Ontario. Maybe. Right. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right. If you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, I keep on. I thought I saw something relating to, to Brian skipped out. I'll have to check. 
watch watch it frame by frame. I thought I saw something relating to Brian Goodwin there, but um, it kept on disappearing. So anyway, let's just get going. Um, wow, it is really smoky out here. Uh, and you can see the sparks flying through the air there. Uh, let's see. Let's turn. Oh, there's another plane. You can't jog on this uh, um, stairway, by the way. Uh, that's why you had. I mean, that would be, I guess, kind of silly in real life. Um, so let's see, um, it is definitely northwest, let's check the, or just west, really. Um, so, um, maybe that cache, um, 506, or maybe Jonesy Lake, um, It doesn't sound that far away, and that's one thing. One thing I was um, I didn't uh, take into account yesterday is the frequency of the beeping. So if I had no realized that it was um, beeping faster than usual, I wouldn't have tried to uh, head so far far away before uh, finding it. Um. Yeah, I'll just follow the trail here. Okay. Um, oh, that granola bar is still there. Uh, you know what? Uh, we never took this. Let's, um... This is, I think, one of the first notes that we saw but I didn't uh, realize you could take them at the time so let's just um, keep that okay and that granola bar depending on how you on the choices you make it's either tasty or deadly <laughs> uh, it's uh, Delilah's like um, eat it at your own risk basically let's go this way You can hear kind of the wind going in the uh, background there. Uh, let's pull this out again. Uh, still going west. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. It's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's yeah. an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Yeah, I know where that is. We've been there. Okay, we're getting really close now. I guess theoretically we just head there now and avoid this whole conversation, but, uh, or, or confrontation, not conversation. Uh. Okay, so now it is. Okay, I hear a helicopter. Uh, could be in that campsite?
Ah. Cassette tape. Okay. Oh, yeah. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you got to know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... Fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. Yeah. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Wow. So. Okay, so that was Ned Goodwin, get Goodwin. I guess um, he just instead of uh, going to face the music about um, his son, he just decided to stay here and hide out. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just. Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Okay. Um is there any... let's see... Um... Yeah, there's a... Uh, we're supposed to head hike north, but I'm really... curious to see what's... Um, on the top of this hill here. Maybe this is actually a shortcut. <sighs> or maybe this is the path to the bad ending. Is there anything? Doesn't seem to be any. Um, right. I don't see any um, way to get past this this area here. Are we even on the map anymore? Um. Oh, we. There's a. We possibly missed a turn. Yeah, this way.
Uh, trail closed. Improvised hatch. Okay, I think this must be, um... Ned's, uh, hideout then. Lookout supplies. Okay, so he's been stealing lookout supplies. Uh, he stole the teen magazines. Uh... Father's Day card. He... God. What? Nothing, just... Some of Brian's stuff. Um, let's pick that up. To a rad bad mega dad, wow. Um, this is obviously Brian's. Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Um, propane tank stolen. Yeah, stolen? Question mark. Um, old typewriter, sleep bag. So. I'm a little, still a little confused. Does um, type to draft repair report? Um, uh, program status. Okay, so I guess um, Ned was forging all that stuff with the. Uh, at the resort research site to make them think to make us think that uh, that the research site people were were um, uh, Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site Wow so uh, that was probably just a random um, site on studying like geology or something like that and they made it and Ned snuck in there and made it look like that they were um uh he wrote down everything he did to us and everything he did every day he was scared shitless huh I bet. let's um read that Research site info, info, how to break in. Um, north fence, loose entrance, south gate. Um, staff returning August 10th. To do. Return borrowed equipment, erase H and D evidence, leave no trace. Okay, so they. Right. Okay. Uh, report, another re draft report. Alright, um... Program status. Uh, this is, again, another version of what we saw earlier in the, uh... uh in the, uh, um... In the research station. So let's keep this because we might need this for evidence uh, someday. Uh, right, so he basically just did this on this old typewriter he found. Uh, yeah, let's leave that alone. Uh, wow. Workbench, disassembled, stereo. So I think this is where he was making the uh, electronics equipment that he was using. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. So I was thinking that maybe Ned was, was actually not uh, that bright and that his son was doing all the radio stuff, but now I'm thinking that Ned actually was uh, teaching uh, the son about the radio 
and that's where he was getting these ideas about bouncing signals off meteors and whatnot. This boombox looks familiar. Oh, that's from the te the teenagers. Right. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. Yeah. You're not? I don't know. Uh well why don't we do that? Um there is a camera. Um Uh, let's see, I think we can... Whoops, that's the flashlight. Um, let's just pick that up. I don't think that's just gonna be... very interesting. Um... Again, the flashlight. Basically, like, like using up our entire roll of film here. Oh, he's the one who was drinking all that beer, I guess. Uh, beer can. Um, uh, yeah, let's just take that. Launch here. Oh, so this is how he was, uh, keeping an eye on us. He had quite the view. Huh. Alright, I'll take one more picture. I'll take one of the view that he was looking out to there. Wow. Okay, so I believe um, that pretty much solves everything. Um. It wasn't MK Ultra. It was just uh, some random guy making us think it was MK Ultra. Uh, let's see. I want to. I think I have to head back south. There's the bunker. Uh, we have to continue south. And then we can go north to the, uh, uh, to the, uh, cable car there. Um, I think it's this way? Yes. Um, yeah, let's, um, it's already a rope attached to it there. So it turned out to be some guy who, um, and we kind of, uh, learned some of the history of him, but, um, it, uh, he was just decided to become a hermit rather than, uh, try to, um, uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure I do not want to use this. Nope. Rather than to try to uh, deal with um, his son dying. And um, he tried to blame it on his son, but uh, uh, I mean, that what Delilah said was uh, he probably wouldn't even know how to tie his news much or tie his shoes, much less a clove hitch, and um, I assume that um, ta or putting a piton into a rock properly was a, a, a one of the, another one of the uh, skills that he was kind of lacking. 
which is kind of critical if you're going to be um, rappelling down uh, steep cliffs and whatnot. So I guess part of the guilt here is that Aned was trying to uh, turn his son into something he really was. I mean, he wanted to, to be like this rugged outdoor type, like... No uh, be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. Yeah. But I'm not. Huh. Wow. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but yeah, Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? Yeah. Right. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah? I mean, it's dangerous here, and, and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me, so... said it was. Yeah. All right, um, I should go. Have a safe flight. All right, have a safe hike. Uh, so this, I, 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 we missed this in this playthrough. I've seen it, um, <clears throat> uh, in other, in, uh, other playthroughs, though, and, uh, There is some dialogue attached to that if you get it early enough. Uh, we're obviously too late now, though. Uh, let's see. Um, where am I going here? Um, <clears throat> right, I want to go right, or I mean left at the cache there. Or just past the cache. There it is. Uh, yeah. Alright. Um, this is a whole new trail here. Um, yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, wouldn't surprise me if there's a long drop down at some point here. Uh, otherwise, we would have seen this trail earlier. Oh, this is this is where um, you jump across the canyon. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Um, yeah, you can take a, you can put a rope hook there and and, tr and actually climb down into the canyon if you want. Um, we didn't do that though. 
Yeah, there's so many op you know, uh, alternate routes and uh, hidden like uh, entrances and things like that to find in this game. Uh, and it's uh, just stuff that you just sort of miss the first time. That yeah, this is gonna have a lot of replay value. Uh, and I, th I mentioned it before. I, w I was really, w wasn't really expecting that at all. Um, I thought it would be just, you know, the story and then, um, uh, there wouldn't be anything new f to add to it. But I mean, obviously we know the end of the story now, but, um. There's so many other things that, uh, like additional dialogue, and it's like watching a movie, and then um, and then watching the uh, deleted scenes and the um, um, things like that. Um, afterwards, I mean, there's always. And, but the deleted scenes are like the entire, uh, like the length of the entire movie. Um, I don't know if anybody watches, has ever watched a, f a video on DVD anymore, but that's what they used to have. Uh, uh, let's see, let's check the map here. I think we're in the... Yeah, we just keep going north here. So this whole thing could have been avoided if they were just a little bit more open about and told Delilah about that station because um, it's it's like it was there and um, if she had known about it then um, um now this is one where I got stuck before. Um, there was a slope with a. Yeah, here it is. If she had known about it before, then uh, it wouldn't have been so mysterious, and it wouldn't have seemed like a place where um, it, it it seemed like there was some kind of government. Cons conspiracy going on so um I mean you would think that Delilah would have known about that spot but uh, I guess maybe for some reason they didn't feel she was uh I needed to be on the loop on that So, okay, I'm, I'm, all this is looking very familiar to me. I think the, uh, um, yeah, the supply cache is up here somewhere. Let's just take a quick look at it. I assume it is empty. Yeah, just a few leaves in there. All right, here's the cable car. Oh, it's got the ca actual cable car in there. Delilah is possibly hey, gone by now. Delilah, are you there? Yeah. Delilah? Yeah, she's probably gone by now. Nope. And uh, it would be too much to hope for that it's actually powered. Okay, and I th believe we're off the map now. Whoops. Yeah, 
the map just brings uh, M just brings up the uh, the, the uh, tracker thing. Um, according to that sign, looks like we go up here. Um. So you may have noticed that our lookout looks different than the lookout that you see on the uh, in the um, opening uh, opening screen there, and I think that's because uh, that's the one we're we're looking at now. That this is this is uh, Delilah's lookout. It looks on the inside it looks almost the same, except for it's got Delilah's things in there. Um. Uh, huh. Radio headset. One hundred and one crosswords. Yeah. Novel. Um. It's Theodore Roosevelt, sort of at random, I guess. Uh, another firefinder. So let's pick up the um, radio set headset here. Hello, is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red. Color oh. Plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Huh. Hey, that's a man's pickup you're talking about. <laughs> I think there might be a raccoon living in it. I wouldn't be surprised. Sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock... We found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. Hmm. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Hmm. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. Wow. <laughs> All right. Sure. Um. Maybe. Oh. Uh. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me, and figure it out down there. Hmm. Um. Just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Oh. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. Hmm. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. Hmm. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and, and it's just a... I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> hmm. Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Heh. <laughs> yeah? Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. 
Rachel. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. Oh, she's the one who stole that sign. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, yeah, someone keeps uh, stealing the sign. Hmm. Alright, so uh, we head down to the helicopter. And I believe that will be the end. Yeah, there I see it there. Uh, I guess we can't run here. So we never actually meet uh, Julia in person. And this is the only actual human we've seen in the game, really. Okay, um, I just muted the audio because I assume that the sound that I'm listening to is uh, copyrighted and will get me a copyright flag if I post it to YouTube. So I will uh, cut out the um, uh, previous few seconds. So um, apologies for that, but um, YouTube will... Uh, it won't demonetize me because they haven't even monetized me to start with, but, <laughs> uh, uh, it, it does kind of, uh, I really don't want to, uh, um, uh, irk them any more than I have to with, uh, 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 oh, I guess these are the pictures from the, uh, camera or something. Huh. So, um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> excellent game. Um, I expected it to be short, and, um, it is, uh, is, um, like, uh, most games of this type would be. I mean, if you want, um, uh, play time for money, then you'd go for a RTS or something like that, I think. Um, but, uh, it has a deep storyline and that's, um, and a, a very, uh, nice one. So, um, uh, I think that is what you're looking for. And, and, um, it's also got a lot of different possible, um, alternate uh ways to go on it um the uh like i said the um i i, I mean i know i missed a whole lot in this in this playthrough uh there's whole um buildings i haven't explored and they they're, they're just sort of there in case you kind of wander into them and you um you might catch one in one playthrough but you would there's no way you could catch all of them uh, so, yeah, so I'm planning to play this through again, uh, look, uh, for things more carefully, um, uh, now knowing the things that I know, I could probably find things more easily, but, um, just finding, uh, finding out all the little nooks and crannies in this game will, will be, uh, it will take a long time, and, um, the little, um, conversations with Delilah and the uh the kind of banter they have between them I think it's worth uh because you miss uh, I mean on your first playthrough you're gonna miss a lot of that so um uh yeah so it's definitely um worth a second possibly a third um playthrough um anyway um So, yeah, uh, it's a good game. I wasn't really expecting to meet any other people here because it is, um, uh, I wouldn't call it a, uh, indie game, but it, it is, um, 
in the mid-level in terms of uh, production values, and you don't really see a lot of um, uh, char you know, character design and, an and uh, animation of uh, humans uh, at, at that level. Um, turns out that's really expensive to do, so they... Um, so it's kind of obvious that they would be um, not uh, showing us um, a lot of other people and that kind of thing. Um, in fact, we just got that one helicopter guy at the end. I don't know what would have happened if we had asked Julia to stay uh, and wait for us at the um, at her. Um, At her lookout, and I mean, it sounds like if we had made that choice, that that she would be there. But I assume that the they might have, or they would have just uh, gotten her out there somehow, out of there. Um, so something to try on another playthrough, I think. Um, special features. A lot of these. I was looking at this. This opens up uh, after you've uh, completed the. Um, um, after you've completed the the game, uh, except for view to view the credits, I think uh, there's an audio tour. Um, play the game with commentary. I I'm not that interested. I and I I mean it's again kind of a special features thing kind of thing, and um, I I'd rather just play the game without the commentary. I think. Uh, thoroughfare free thoroughfare free roam that's something I want to uh, try out because um, that way I can completely uh, explore the map without um, worrying about the current mission or the current objective or something like that, or that kind of thing just kind of uh, going on or just kind of exploring every uh, part of the map to see what's there. Um, especially with the axe, I know there's a few places that we've seen, um, uh, places where you can cut down trees and possibly, um, uh, uh, climb across. Um, and I, that was totally, I totally missed that on the first playthrough. And, um, camera roll update, upload, um, I guess you upload your photos to the, um, steam shop or whatever and uh or is the steam uh your steam page um i don't know how that would work i'll i don't know i i it's <clears throat> um with those old uh disposable cameras you could not look at your photos until they were um developed that's um uh, the phones don't look like that, or don't work like that anymore. Um, anyway. So, um, like I said, excellent game. I'm going to do a couple of replays probably um, and um, stay tuned to the channel for um, more games. I have a pretty good idea what I'm going to be doing. I don't like to announce them in advance in case uh, something goes horribly wrong and I end up uh, uh, canceling my, pr my plans, but um, I do have at least two games in mind. So, um, stay tuned, and, um, I hope to see you there, and, and until then, bye.